So, you want to get a Labrador, but you are curious about the breed's health before really taking the plunge? Well, stick around as today we will take a much closer look at the health of the Labrador Retriever and all matters regarding the health of the breed. To get us started, let's talk about life expectancy of a healthy lab. The breed is generally a healthy one and they have a reasonably average lifespan for a dog of their size and tend to live 10 to 12 years. Now let's get into all of the different health issues you might possibly see with the lab. The two conditions that are pretty common among almost all breeds are hip and elbow dysplasia. This is a condition that occurs when the dog's joints have a malformation. Either of these conditions can be genetic or environmental. This is why it is essential to research the parents of a litter you are considering getting a puppy from and reducing any environmental factors, such as not allowing the dog to play too roughly when it is young, to protect their fragile joints and feeding a good diet. There can also be some varied eye and heart issues within the breed. Though these are not incredibly common, they can still occur. This is why the breed's parents clubs do recommend all breeding stock be evaluated and certified for eyes and the heart before breeding any particular dog. Hey guys, if you're not already, you should be following our Fenrir Rescue Diaries over on Fenrir Canine Training Channel. That is following my journey of working at a rescue center, helping dogs that have been abandoned, abused, given up or found as strays and helping implement behavior modification programs to allow them to become perfect canine companions that can be rehomed to their forever homes. So if you're interested in following my journey of how I do that, there'll be a link to that channel down in the description box below. I think you'll really enjoy the journey, but I'll let you get back to the video you were just watching. The lab can also be susceptible to hypothyroidism. This is a condition in which the dog's thyroid doesn't produce enough hormones and can result in hair loss, weight gain, and lethargy. Another issue within the breed is laryngeal paralysis. This is caused by weakening in the muscles around the vocal cords and can cause the dog to have a hoarse bark. Or some even describe the bark as almost sounding like a honking sound. One of the more prevalent genetic diseases in the breed is centronuclear myopathy. This is a condition where the muscles degrade and cause the dog to lose appetite, awkward gait and weight gain. Labs also suffer from exercise-induced collapse or EIC. This is, unfortunately, precisely what it sounds like. In individuals where EIC is a factor, the dog can get 5 to 15 minutes of strenuous exercise. But much more than that, the individual starts to become weak and if they keep going after that, they will collapse. The dogs are completely conscious during the collapse, but they will seem to be disorientated. This is a severe condition and it can result in death if not managed correctly and if the individuals with the disease are allowed to overexert themselves too much. Lastly, the lab is also a sufferer of cancer and some seizure disorders. The most common types of cancer for the breed is lymphoma and bone cancer. This might sound like a big scary list of potential issues to have with any dog. Even though these are things that can go wrong, the lab is typically a healthy breed of dog and the rate at which they suffer these diseases is on the low end. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behavior cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just want to be to come over and chat with me that's the place for you so there'll be links down in the description box for both of our instagram pages i'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there